We're here in New Orleans, and we're with Sunlight Contractors. Ira and I were talking just this last week, and he needed a vacuum. And of course, down here, they just went through the hurricane, so we got him a 23 horsepower cool vac. Go through this here a little bit and show him. Of course, this thing has a five gallon gas tank on it. It takes unleaded gasoline. Also takes 5W30 synthetic oil. Now, if you're down in the south, you probably just want to run 30W straight because of the heat. We put 5W30 on there because some of us come from a climate that is frozen. And so we need the lighter oil. As long as it's, you know, 30 weight. 1030 is good. good. 10W30 is fine. Good. This is an electric start. You have and the key right it? here. Right there, okay. Yep. To start it, you just choke it. Where's the choke? Choke is right here. Got it. Under the air filter. Okay. And then you're going to run your throttle up right there. Okay. So everything's just kind of like right there. You want to fire it up? Yeah, sure. Make sure that you blow that filter out after every job. Briggs & Stratton says 100 hours for oil changes. Cool Machine says 50 hours per cool, uh, oil change. I have customers out there saying, look Barry, 30 hours. 30 hours it is. So yeah, 30 hours. It, it, that, oil is cheap, engines are expensive. Oh yes. So it doesn't take and much. And downtime is much more expensive uh, than that. Exactly. And we have a nice little oil drain here that's real convenient. Uh, so this air, will just go down and drain everything yep, and out. And your oil filter's right there. So everything is real close. Yeah, that's good. Where does the oil go? Where's the intake for it? It's right on the other here. side. Right, right over right here. Right here, here. perfect. Under, perfect. Yep. And what does it take, here. a quart? I would say at least have two quarts available. This machine has a four inch thick blade. Normally machines have like three inch thick blade. On this machine, we put some safety features in here. We have a safety kill switch here, as well as a safety kill switch here underneath the safety shield. So people don't get their hands in there. And if this hose is disconnected from the output as well as the input, then those kill switches are gonna go on and you're not gonna be able to start the machine. So okay. nobody can get their hands in there. From here we go to the vacuum saver. Okay. And now this is going to collect all the debris that's coming into the machine. It does two things. Number one, it's gonna collect all that debris and keep your machine safe. But I think even more importantly, it's gonna keep your employees safe because nails will come in They'll get collected here. And we won't have broken bags have to gorilla tape exactly. them every second. It protects your bags and it um, protects you. You have a nail fly through here or go right through, you know, so. Oh, we have that every day. 90% yeah. of these things it will catch. It's Good. not gonna be 100% perfect. Don't stand directly behind the machine when it's in play. How often should you empty this? When you're running this machine, it's gonna fill up immediately and you're gonna go, oh, it's already full, what do we do? Uh, no, the reason it's filling up is because it's just all the cellulose and all the fiberglass is collecting in there and rock wool. You guys are doing rock wool down here. Yeah. It all collects in here and fills up, but then it creates a bed for all the stuff that's flying in to just land into that. So to empty that, we just have a couple of quick release knobs. You have one on each side. Probably twice on a job you'll want to empty it, maybe halfway through, whenever you take your breaks. From here, you're just going to connect as much hose as you want. We gave you enough to go to 200 feet, I believe. Yeah. The vacuum saver is what sold me on the entire system because this is going to save the machine yep. and I'll always be able to run at 100% capacity exactly. with the machine. This machine right now is only running around 60% max capacity mm -hmm. because we took in so many nails, so much plaster, so many rocks, and it's nothing but issues. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the back side of the machine. So this is the cool diverter. What this is going to do is save you a lot of time on a job. Normally when you're filling up a bag, an insulation bag, you have to, once it's filled up, shut the machine down, undo the bag, untie it, unduct tape it, it takes a lot of fiddling around, uh, tie that bag off and then put a new bag on and then start that up. What you do to work this tool is you allow one bag to fill up completely. You're going to have another set of hose and a bag connected here, okay? We just don't have it set up right now. But when that bag gets full, all you have to do 
is flip this right over. You don't shut the machine down or anything. This does not clog up on you, and it's an instantaneous fill on the other bag. Best thing about it are the two bags that I can attach. I fill up one, take the uh, you know machine, close it off, take the bag off, get it out, put another bag on, and I'm working on my other machine right a uh, bag right away. Yeah, these two pieces here is going to make things a whole Isn't lot easier crazy? for us, man. Yeah. yeah, this thing moves around so easy. One finger. One nice. Finger. One finger. All right, we're looking good. I mean, anybody could move it. My four-year-old granddaughter could move this. My name is Ira from Sunlight Contractors. We've been in business for 30 years. Basically, I was in need of another insulation removal machine. And I used to use Intec, and I called Barry, and he helped me make my decision on his remarkable customer service. I bought the machine from him. Three days later, it was shipped. He came down the next day, and he totally went over every single detail with the machine. He helped me set it up. And to me, customer service is the best thing anybody could possibly do. And I mean, I've seen, I've had the cool machine on a uh, cellulose insulation machine for eight years. The machine is a workhorse. It never goes bad. This cool machine, I'm very happy to, you know, get it and it does a whole variety of different things that my other machine doesn't. And Barry, I want to thank you. Well, thank you. It was a great, great process. It was stress-free. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Glad we could make it here. You got it, buddy. This machine is the best thing ever happened to us. We went from this to this. We can allow these two to be stable while we have this long run, which would give us the distance to put on the back of the truck for the bags. I love it. Best thing ever happened to the company. Search insulation machines to find us on YouTube.